We're checking in with our favorite doc, Dr. Janelle Gordon. And Dr. J, we're talking about something real important. We are talking about heart disease. It affects people of all ages. A tragic example, the person we're looking at on our screen there, that is former NFL star Jacoby Jones. You may remember he was only 40 years old when he died last month and an autopsy revealed that heart disease from long-standing high blood pressure as the cause of his death. Now, of course, heart disease and hypertension are showing up in more younger men, and the risk is higher for black men. So, of course, you're here to talk about that and explain what we need to know and what we can do to possibly prevent this. Yes, yes, Jeremy. Thank you for having me, as always. So, a very sad story. I mean, Jacoby Jones was a standout. He was a great player, Super Bowl champion, loved by many a father, and unfortunately, his life was cut short. So, what we do know is that, unfortunately, 59% of black Americans actually have high blood pressure and that's more than any other demographic in this country. Black men are 70% more likely to have heart failure. So that's what he had. He had heart disease as a result of long-standing high blood pressure. Black women are actually two times more likely to have high blood pressure during pregnancy, which we know can continue even after delivery of the baby. So very hard hit. One thing I did find that was interesting is also that our Asian Americans, four out of five of them who are actually being treated for high blood pressure still are considered to be uncontrolled. So definitely we need more research in this area. Well, it's funny you mentioned the research because the numbers are all over the place when mm -hmm. you look at different groups. So mm -hmm. what could possibly be the cause of such disparities? Yes, so a lot of buzz has been going on surrounding social determinants of health within the last decade. So when we talk about health disparities and what could be causing it, a lot of times people think, oh, it's my genetics. My dad had it. I'm bound to have it. Not necessarily. So when we talk about social determinants of health, that can include where a person lives, if they have access to quality education, health care, nutritious foods and even safe places to play and exercise can increase an individual's risk of disease or decrease it. Now it's funny we're talking about blood pressure and how mm -hmm. it relates to this. It was one of the things we talked about recently when I was at church. Yes. Remind people what the target is and where you want to be. Yes, yeah, so it can get confusing. There was one point where we were allowing a higher blood pressure because when we had it lower, we were having some older adults who were suffering from in organ complications as a result of it being too low. We we have now realized that we need to bring the target goal back down because we're having more and more younger adults ending up with complications such as kidney disease, heart failure, mm -hmm. and stroke. So a target range, normal blood pressure, we want you to be between 90 to 129 on the top and on the bottom we want it to be 40 to 79. Individuals may go to their doctor and the doctor may say, hey, your blood pressure is 135 over 82, you're fine. I would say no, Jeremy. That is what we actually consider to be stage one high blood pressure or pre-hypertension. Now, one of the things that we were told during our sermon when we were going over this, mm -hmm. you all love this, the charts. We need to check it frequently. We also need to check it multiple times throughout the day and keep track of it so that we can know what modifications we need to make. Exactly. Know your numbers and bring that information with you to your doctor's office. Let's say you go in and your doctor happens to be sick that day. We do have our own records, but I always recommend patients have theirs as well so we can always compare what you're getting at home to what you're getting in the office. Dr. J, another important topic. Always great to have our morning checkup with Thank you. Thank you. Now, all of the information we didn't get to will be on your blog online on wishtv.com.